And this weather outside, it's it's wonderful fall weather. Oh yeah, it's it's there's just the right amount of coolness in the air. I was yeah. outside for the six o'clock or for the seven o'clock show, and it was just enough for me to think like, eh, it's getting a little chilly outside. Yeah. <laughs> and that was a few hours ago. Even now, it's down to 50 degrees and Perry winds out of the east side about five miles an hour. Dew point of 38, so the air out there is dry, but that's going to be changing in the coming hours as that front that I've been talking about gets closer and closer to central Georgia. Live radar is quiet across the region now. Current temperatures are in in the upper 40s, low 50s, 50 in Cochrane, 51 in Unadilla, 47 still in Taylor County at this hour, 48 up in Forsyth and 46 already in Monticello this evening. We're running a few degrees warmer than we were last night, seven degrees warmer in Dublin, 11 degrees warmer in Cordial. So yes, it's cool, but not as cold as we got last night. Southeast for the most part is quiet. The front up to our north we're in Missouri, Kansas, up towards Oklahoma. You can't really see it defined just yet, but as it moves Further into the southeast, you'll see a band of rain form, and that's what we'll be watching for tomorrow. That band of rain headed here by the time we get to Monday morning. So let's roll the clock forward through the overnight hours. A few high clouds might even see a halo out there. And then once we get into tomorrow afternoon, no rain, just temperatures warming into the upper 60s as the clouds continue to build in. And then here comes this front I've been talking about. Band of rain here Monday at 5 a.m. across the region. It could be a wet commute for some, but the band of rain is going to be falling apart as it sweeps through central Georgia. So as that front comes through, it'll clear out the cloud cover. And notice this is noon here, so some rain for the rush hour in the morning. But by noon, we are in the clear across the region. And then cooling off as we head through the day on Monday down to 50 degrees by 8 p.m. And we will be looking at calm weather from there on out through the remainder of Turkey Week. So calm on Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe a few high clouds build in. Another front coming down the pipe. The good news is both the GFS and the European are in agreement in keeping the front in Mississippi and in western Tennessee by Thanksgiving afternoon. It's not until Friday morning where we begin to watch for some impacts here, but you can see both of the models are dissipating the rain by the time the front sweeps through. I still think we'll get a shot of cooler air, but not necessarily rain across the region. So overall low rain chances for Friday and for Saturday so far. As we head into tomorrow, 69 degrees expected to be the high temperature after we warm from the 40s into the 50s, eventually up there to 69 near average. It's actually a few degrees above average, uh, only a degree or two though. If you're thinking about putting up the Christmas lights, go for it tomorrow. Not a great idea on Monday. Some rain in the morning, so everything's going to be wet after that, and then some wind building in on Tuesday behind the front. Let's also talk about Thanksgiving travel. Could run into some issues tomorrow in the central parts of the country as that front gets closer to us. And then by Monday afternoon, it looks like the East Coast would be the problem spots if we see any. But as I advance this through the week, notice there's no red on the map, which is good news if you're traveling anywhere. It's just some light rain across the region. And if you're already wondering about Thanksgiving Day, expect a high temperature of about 66, a low near freezing, partly cloudy and breezy at times. Here comes the seven day forecast. There's a 60% chance of rain for Monday. Again, that's in the morning. Temperatures cooling off after that down to 55 by Tuesday afternoon and then 29 Wednesday morning. Connor, got the jacket out yet? Oh yeah, absolutely. Hey, Turkey Day weather, Turkey Day football 